Well, the big news of the day, obviously, is the President's budget proposal. And you're getting a lot of headlines and a lot of chatter about it. Let me just briefly share with you why I think this is a, a, a good budget in difficult times. None of us like to see the deficit numbers we're looking at, but uh, this is a, a deficit uh, that Barack Obama and we inherited uh, from uh, the Republican administration, unfunding uh, the war in Iraq, the contracting problems. I mean, there's just a whole host of reasons why we've ended up in this mess we've had uh, in our economy. And I won't dwell on that this morning uh, with you, but I, I do want to emphasize that this is a budget that reflects the, the, the hand we've been dealt <clears throat> and then how we can move forward with this. And the focus on two or three things I find very, very encouraging in this bill. One is in the green technologies, and Connecticut can benefit tremendously. Uh, because of this, we have a lot of industries already moving from fuel cells and other technologies that will allow us to really take advantage of what all of us want to see, and that is uh, future independence from reliance on delicate, politically charged areas of the world, not to mention the health and environmental questions associated with carbon fuels. So I'm very, very excited about the energy prospects of this bill. The, <clears throat> the creation of an infrastructure bank is something I've advocated for a long time. This will allow us to really utilize private dollars as well as public dollars to start rebuilding uh, the infrastructure needs of our nation. Just to repair the infrastructure of the country would be a staggering amount today. And we don't have the resources, as you can see in this budget, to do the things necessary. So by leveraging private capital and bringing it in, for transit systems and the bridges and the roads that need repairing, not to mention all sorts of other infrastructure needs in our country from sewer systems and water systems uh, that can help us grow our economy as we come out of this recession are going to be critically important. And, and third is the health care. This may be the most important in many ways. We've been talking about this issue for 60 years, and we finally have an American president who's determined to actually get something done about it. And when Ted Kennedy, my colleague from Massachusetts, gets back here in a few days, you're going to see this issue move very quickly to the front burner. And it's not only a moral issue, when you consider the number of people without insurance and the 25 million people in this country who have insurance but can hardly afford to pay the skyrocketing premiums. So this is a chance for us to deal with the problem millions of people face every day, but it's also part of the economic difficulties of our country. So I'm very excited about the energy and the health aspects of this bill, where this president is realigning the agenda for our nation and going to put us on a track where this country gets healthy and stronger and more vibrant in the 21st century. And I welcome your questions about this budget.